One, ignition, engine full power, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go Falcon, go Nine, eight, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. Separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. You are looking at a live view of Falcon 9 and Dragon awaiting liftoff from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Sitting atop the Falcon 9 rocket, Dragon in its trunk stand about 27 feet tall. Dragon has 16 Draco thrusters that can be used in space to help navigate the spacecraft to its destination, each providing 90 pounds of force. Dragon's trunk attached below the spacecraft holds solar cells that power Dragon while it's in free flight, and the trunk can also carry unpressurized cargo, which it will be doing today. About 50 seconds after separation, Dragon's nose cone deploy sequence will begin expo exposing its guidance navigation controls that help Dragon autonomously fly to the space station. The nose cone also houses the docking mechanism that will connect with the station. Dragon has played a significant role in advancing our future in space by safely transporting crew and cargo to and from the space station. There are currently three Dragon capsules used for cargo missions, which have collectively flown 10 CRS missions to date, and there are four capsules supporting human spaceflight that have docked to the station. Their names are Endeavor, Resilience, Endurance, and Freedom. Crew 9 arrived on board Dragon Freedom, which is currently docked to the station and is SpaceX's 15th human space mission since 2020, when Dragon became the first private spacecraft to take humans to the International Space Station. And to orbit today is Falcon 9, a two-stage rocket developed and manufactured by SpaceX, known for its safe, reliable, and cost-effective access to space. Just underneath Dragon, we have the second stage of the vehicle, the second stage is powered by a single Merlin vacuum engine, or MVAC, which is optimized to perform in the vacuum of space. And that second stage will secure Dragon's entry into low Earth orbit before separating, leaving Dragon to continue its journey to the space station on its own thrusters. Just below the second stage is the first stage, which contains eight engines arranged around one center engine, all held in place by a structure called the OctaWeb. Each of these Merlin 1D engines delivers about 190,000 pounds of thrust at sea level, which gives Falcon 9 a combined 1.7 million pounds of thrust. The booster supporting today's mission previously launched four missions, including Crew 8, Polaris Dawn, and two Starlink missions. NASA and its international partners are launching scientific investigations on SpaceX's 31st Commercial Resupply Services mission to the International Space Station. The Coronal Diagnostic Experiment, or CODEX, will examine solar wind and create a global comprehensive data set to help scientists validate theories for what heats solar wind, which is a million degrees hotter than the sun's surface. A live Antarctic moss will be studied to understand the effects of cosmic radiation and microgravity on plants. Results could help identify biological systems suitable for use in bioregenerative life support systems on future missions. Dozens of samples will be exposed to space to evaluate material stability and to help researchers better understand the impacts of spaceflight. Results could support better design for spacecraft and satellites. Researchers will demonstrate cold welding techniques in space and evaluate sample integrity. Results could aid in the development of interior spacecraft repair methods and improve applications of cold welding on Earth. Discover more about all of the science making the journey to the orbiting lab at nasa.gov forward slash ISS dash science. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, engine full power, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go Falcon, go CRS. 
both pushing down range. And we have liftoff. NASA's SpaceX 31st commercial Eight, resupply Eight, mission Eight, is on its way to the International Space Station, carrying science, supplies, and the spirit of exploration. You just heard that call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic, and shortly we'll be throttling the engines back in preparation for Max Q. Max Q. There's that call up for Max Q. That's the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see during ascent. And coming up shortly, we will have a few events in quick succession, starting with main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, second stage engine. two engine chill second engine startup one and the boost back burn of the first stage. Second engine start one is when we ignite that single Merlin vacuum engine of the second stage. Shortly after that, the boost back burn will start on the first stage. There's main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Stage separation. Stage two startup. Stage one boost back startup. And there you can see a beautiful view of the concurrent second stage engine start along with the start of that first stage boost back burn. There is the start of the stage one entry burn. And this is a three engine burn of the first stage, slowing the first stage down as it comes back home. Stage first. one entry burn shut down. Stage one FTS is saved. There is the start of the stage one landing burn. Stage one landing like deploy. Stage one landing is confirmed. What a, what a beautiful view stage of that. Thermal guidance. First stage landing. Dragon separation confirmed. Station Houston, Dragon contact and soft capture complete. And there you heard it, contact and capture. Docking took place this morning.